friends <coughs> today i am going to show you advantages of using for loop cursor so i will be using one table known as employee master uh, which uh, and from that table i'll uh, use two field one is emp code and emp name and i'll be traversing through that table table rows of the table using a cursor and printing the emp <coughs> code and emp name <coughs> First, I will use the for loop cursor, and then I will show you the no. First, I will actually use a simple loop, uh, and then I will use the for loop cursor, and I will show you the, the difference. What is the advantage of using for loop cursor? So let us start. So I've just opened my buffer, and I declare a cursor. You play. Please select emp code emp name from employee master and now uh, if when you are using a simple loop and end loop uh, you have to declare the two variables which will actually store the emp code and emp name the, for doing this you can either do two things say i will take vmp code and declare a row type a percent dot emp code percent type i mean percent type <coughs> and emp name percent type okay and begin and open the cursor open in empty day loop and loop here I will fetch emp deck into the emp code and the emp name Okay, and DBMS output dot put line DMP code. I'll use the concatenation operator DMP name. Okay, and close the cursor. Okay, so let us run this. Okay, there is some spelling mistake, I think. Yes, I have given two E and P, two E, double E. Okay, there is a buffer buffer error. So that's not a problem so uh, I've just missed another thing uh, if it is not the buffer error yeah, I should end up in a uh, infinite loop so exit when you direct person row count equal to zero Okay, so when you will perform this uh, in some, with a, actually it contains a lots of data, so I can just uh, squeeze it to where, say, EAP grade equal to S. Okay, just some reducing some data. Okay, it's still the problem. I'm not concerned with this. So <coughs> you can see, uh, for when I'm using loop and end loop, I have to use. Uh, I have to declare a two variable. You can also uh, declare a type. Type record is okay, and something like that. You can also declare a type of record, and with that type, you declare a variable and. Instead of two variables, you can just 
uh, use that uh, into the record type variable. So what I'm trying to say that you have to put an exit statement, you have to put uh, open the loop, open the cursor, close the cursor, you have to do a lot of stuff. But now, if I do one thing, uh, let us copy this and paste in notepad. And now what will I do? I just change this and I'll remove this, I'll remove this and I'll just do a for loop for vrec in emp rec. I remove the fetch and just do it here vrec dot emp code vrec dot emp name I remove the exit and remove the close. Okay. So now see if I run this just a moment. Okay, uh, I missed the loop statement. Loop you have you need this one. Okay, so uh, now I run this and say just look into this. Okay, so when I use the for loop, I don't need anything. The for loop uh, automatically it opens the cursor, okay, and it loops through it, okay, it fetch, it fetch the record, put it, and we, I also don't require to declare the VREC, okay, so it, it's automatically declared, it stores uh, whatever you take, you take EMP code now, I just add something, say EMP create. date of birth ok now when we run this it's all the same now I add this here we add it here v rate dot emp create v rate dot date of but okay so when I run this see we get all the see this is a data bar this is EMP employee grade this is employee name employee EMP code so how it easy it becomes when we use the for loop okay so I paste it here and let us just go through it once again now if I want to uh, say just a moment. If I want to uh, add this EMP grade and date of birth here, what do you need to do? You need to again declare two variable v EMP grade and again you can make a percent type, you can also do varchar or whatever date field it have in case of date of birth v. I take date of birth ok date of birth ok and here you have to again do e emp grade v date of birth ok and you, and you can also paste this one here yeah, just take this two and paste it here uh, now it will do the same thing but just follow this that how much we have to write and the complexity it, it, it uh, ok it's a wrong number ok so we have to also add this one here say emp grade and date of birth so you can see that uh, how much the, what is the difference between this 
uh, what is the difference between this for loop and the for loop for the for loop this takes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 only 9 line and this takes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay 16 lines so this is the advantage of using for loop okay when you exit the for loop get out of the for loop the cursor automatically closed okay and when you enter the for loop cursor automatically opens the rate is automatically declared so this is the advantage a simple a small advantage of using for loop cursor so that's all about this tutorial uh, i will come with uh, more cursor uh, examples like a uh, parametric cursor how to write a parametric cursor in my next video thank you very much